Today's video is a travel vlog for my winter trip to Stowe, Vermont. I joined some friends on a ski trip in December and we drove up from the city on a Friday. Um, it was about a six hour drive. I could feel the air getting colder as we made our way up north. And by the time we got there, it was the early evening. So it was just in time to check into our Airbnb and grab some dinner. I had the fish and chips and I thought the drinks here were pretty good. I love a hot cocktail, so I went with the bourbon malt cider. The next day we woke up to a fresh coat of snow. We woke up super early to get everything sorted out. I rented my boots and skis from Stone Mountain, and I also signed up for some lessons since I've never skied before. took three days of private lessons just to get the hang of the basics and it was definitely slow going but by the end of the first session I was able to go up and down the bunny hill, do some pretty wobbly turns and pizza stop. My instructor took some footage of me as I was skiing and I actually found it helpful to watch the clip back because I could tell that I had a bad habit of looking down on my skis to try and like will them to turn um, so seeing all the places that I could improve in the video was, was pretty helpful. Anyway, um, the next day was a little better. The sun came out and it was a little bit warmer, about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, again, I had a three hour lesson in the morning and I noticed that since it was a Sunday, the crowds were a little bit lighter. So if you're like me and you've never skied before, I think the lessons are super helpful. And I'd recommend going on a Sunday or if you can, like Monday through Thursday. And yeah, the mountain is just so beautiful, both in the snow and on the sunny, clear days. So a little bit about Stowe Mountain. The resort is divided in two mountains. There's Mount Mansfield, which is the highest peak in Vermont, and there's Spruce Peak, which is geared more towards beginners. There's 116 trails total across 485 acres, and it's split roughly 16% beginner, 55% intermediate, and 29% expert. Stowe is nicknamed the ski capital of the East, and it's a really beautiful place to visit um, in any season, honestly. For a long time, it was owned by AIG, but Vail purchased it in 2017, so it is on the Epic Pass. And within New England, you've got Okemo, Sunapee, Wildcat, um, Adatash, and Hunter in New York. So there's definitely a lot of choice if you decide to get the Epic Pass. Um, I just missed the cutoff date to get the local pass at a discount, so um, I'm still thinking about it. I'm probably going to try skiing in Colorado or Tahoe in the new year. Um, so if you've been skiing out west, let me know what your favorite resorts are. After a bit of skiing, we walked around Spruce Peak to check out all the shops and grab some food. The lodge at Spruce Peak is a really gorgeous luxury hotel, so if you want to stay right on the mountain, it has ski in and ski out access. Uh, we also had lunch here, which was one of the best meals of our trip. It's the last day of my ski lessons. Excited. Hopefully I can make it to day three. I mean, it is day three. Um, hopefully I can make it on one of the blues today. Let's see. By day three, I felt like I understood the basics, so I wanted to try a blue. Um, I think there's a pretty big range of blue trails, like some are relatively easy and some are more difficult. Going up the gondola was so beautiful though. Um, this is basically the entire reason that I want to learn how to ski. I think it's so scenic to see all the trees covered in snow. The blue that I tried was called Lord and it was definitely too hard for me. I could barely get through the last half of it. So I quickly took the over easy gondola back to the Spruce Peak side. Um, but if you're not into skiing, there's plenty of other things to do in Stowe and like the surrounding area. Vermont is pretty famous for its like fresh produce, farm to table restaurants, and breweries. Uh, we actually did a tour of The Alchemist, which is known for inventing the double IPA. 
Uh, personally, I thought this was so sour and it was not for me, but if you like IPAs, then you should definitely try it. Uh, we did try a couple other beers as well, and I thought the Luscious was pretty good. It's kind of like a very rich chocolatey stout. Um, to me, it tasted almost a bit like Guinness. I do love cider though, so we stopped by Stowe's Cider as well during our trip. Um, the tasting room was really fun to visit. They had live music and a ton of different hard ciders on tap. Everything is fresh pressed right in Vermont, and I would say they skew more on the drier side. We got a four flight tasting and tried the blue raspberry gummy bear, which was very different, a peach habanero, which was quite spicy, and a holiday cider with orange and cranberry that was quite hazy. I liked that one the best. And then for dinner, we headed over to the nearby town of Waterbury. Uh, Waterbury is really cute, but everything was actually closed. Um, I think stores close pretty early in the winter, so just keep that in mind if you're planning a trip. We went over to Prohibition Pig for some barbecue, tried some cornbread, some brisket, and yeah, it was a really great experience. to come back and ski some more so I rented um, I re-rented skis and I'm trying on a different pair this time there's just be lighter um, they still only come up to about chin length so I think they're still beginner skis but we'll see um, the private lessons are done so now I'm just gonna try and practice on my own I've been watching some YouTube videos so I'm gonna work on my carving and the good thing is if you come early on a weekday like it is dead empty it's snowing a lot but it's dead empty last couple days in town I alternated between skiing some more and seeing the actual town. Stowe is one of the most charming towns in New England. Um, I think it's probably absolutely beautiful in the fall. There's a very compact like Main Street area with a bunch of shops and restaurants. There's this like famous church that you see on every postcard. Um, plenty of spas if you want to get a massage to like release all the tension after skiing. I also recommend heading up to the Von Trapp Lodge. Um, it's just outside town maybe like 10, 20 minutes drive. After the famous Von Trapp family left Austria, they actually resettled in Stowe and they built this European Alpine style hotel as well as a brewery. I thought the food here was pretty good and they also sell German beers to go. Other restaurants to check out while you're in town, Cafe on Main um, is a great lunch spot for sandwiches. Black Tap has coffee and a huge beer and cider selection. Um, I got the maple latte with oat milk, which was really good. Uh, the Matterhorn is a fun spot on Saturday nights if you want to go out and grab some beers. We thought the food was only okay, but the restaurant overlooks the riverbank and it's always quite busy, great atmosphere, lots of fireplaces, um, so it's a nice spot to check out. And if you're craving Asian food, there's Sushi Oshi, which is kind of like an all-in-one Asian spot with hibachi, sushi, Thai food, Chinese, 
um, so we tried that one night as well. Overall, I had a great time in Vermont, and whether you want to ski or you just want to check out like a cute and charming town, um, Stowe is definitely worth a visit.